Thanks for joining us today. We have a special one-on-one -on -one interview today with Zalmi Dukman, the CEO of Home Bistro Inc. We've talked to Zalmi in the past, and we have another celebrity chef joining us today with Home Bistro. His name is celebrity chef Roble Ali. Now, if you're not familiar with celebrity chef Roble Ali, he has served celebrities such as Leonardo DiCaprio, Rihanna, President Obama, and many others through his catering company called Roble and Company. We're going to be joining both of them right now to talk about Home Bistro Inc. Zami, once again, thanks for joining us on another interview. Tell us about the progress Home Bistro's made over the last several months. Oh, you got it. And I'm excited to be back on with you. So it's been a really, really exciting uh, last few months. Um, obviously, we have brought on uh, Chef Roble. We have a few other chefs that we're talking to that we hope to uh, announce uh, in the coming months. And we have got our skin pack machine that we announced um, a few weeks ago in our kitchen and we're testing with it and we will be switching uh, the packaging from frozen to fresh, which for us is a super, super important move. So we are very, very busy here at Home Bistro. That sounds great. And again, it's it's Home Bistro Inc. The ticker symbol is HBIS. Got a special guest to go with you, Zami, on here, which obviously is celebrity chef Roble Ali. Roble, I mean, you got your first professional kitchen job when you were 15 years old, went into the Culinary Institute. I mean, you know, you're well known. People can go and find you easily like I did on YouTube. I guess my question for you for starters is what's your passion when it comes to food? What what, what do you get really excited about? Being able to feed people is a huge responsibility. And it's a, a huge level of trust that people give you. Like, if you think about it, like, what professions are there where people allow you to put things into their bodies? It's not many. Sure. Chefs, doctors. I mean, that's an intimate thing. And, um, and I take it very seriously. And, and, uh, and I appreciate people that trust me to do that job and, and, uh, and, and, and I make sure that I, I do it well and I do it with love and care. And uh, to answer your question, if, what, if whatever I've done regarding food makes people happy, that's my, that, that, that's what I like to do. That, that's, that, that's, the, that's me being in the pocket. That's, that's my speciality, making people sure. happy. Sure. I mean, like you said, you put it in great, great ter terms, which I've never even thought of before when you, you, you really think about how intimate it is when you're talking about food. Now, as far as the home bistro thing, so to speak, why is the home bistro platform that they have? Why is that perfect for you, Robley? It's, it's, it, it, it amplifies what I do. Um, it's direct to somebody that likes what I do, right? The, sure. The, I cannot, if, I can't tell you, I can't quantify the amount of times, the amount of people that have said to me over social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, man, I can't wait to try your food. I wish I could try your food. This allows me to be able to say, yes, you can have my food and you can have it in an affordable way and you don't have to go through a whole lot of trouble to do it. Um, that is a great opportunity for me. And uh, I'm excited and I'm flattered that I'm being allowed this opportunity. And, I'm, and I, 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 can't, I can't wait to, to, to get to, to the delivery phase and, 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 and start seeing the comments on my, on my social media like, hey, you know, uh, I, got your, I got your Chipino in the mail today. Or, you know, I got, um, I got the jerk chicken and, and, and curry sweet potatoes, you know, like that, 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 that makes me happy and i can't wait that's perfect that's that's the way it should be you know you, you could tell just from the way you talk how passionate you are about food and you know i'm passionate about food too but the wrong way where i have to go hit the gym way too many times than i should <laughs> but you know when we're talking about food it's a great lead-in because uh you got zombie here with us uh who's running home bistro and mm -hmm. you're coming on board. So tell me, what can we expect from your line of home delivered meals? Any specific recipes? I know you just kind of mentioned one, but, but anything that you have in mind that's going to be coming out through Home Bistro? So what I'm going to do is I know all those things that, get every, that gets everybody's juice going, and juice is flowing, right? So, so, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a blend of that with some things that they may not have seen yet. 
And also, I want to make sure that what I'm delivering to people is healthfully conscious, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, like, 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 like one thing, people went crazy. I put up some candied bacon, right? Of course it looks amazing. It's food porn. I'm not going to send candy <laughs> bacon over there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's sure. so many things. But, 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 but th there's a medium. There's a harmony of all these things that I just mentioned. There's a harmony in there. And I'm going to stay within there. And, and, and I know it's going to work. It, it sounds really interesting. It, it sounds like there might even be some exclusivity to what, what you have going on in your mind as far as what you're going to put out there through Home Bistro. And, and, and Zomi, I guess the question oh, is for you. Exclusivity, yeah, yeah, yeah. This only lives, if, if, if what you're going to see at Home Bistro, you can't get that anywhere else. Okay. That's important. That's yeah, important. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so Zomi, wh when do you think consumers can anticipate Chef Robles meals to hit the market? Any idea when you think they might be coming out? Oh, of course. So as you guys can tell, uh, Robles is extremely passionate. Um, he is uh, a, a, a brilliant mind when it comes to uh, the culinary world. And anyone that's watched his show on Bravo uh, knows that he's uh, always on the move. So we are working with, yes, we are working with his team and our team. We're putting together the recipes. You know, this is our third chef on the platform. So we're starting to get the real good hang of the process. And uh, after we finalize the recipes, we're going to do a, a really cool photo shoot. So we have some really good photos uh, for, for the website, as you can see with our other chefs. And we hope to launch this sometime in July. So we are, uh, we are working really, really hard to get that uh, done. And we are just uh, really excited for, for the stuff that he's going to put out. Sounds awesome. And I'm sure, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, when you are ready to hit the street, so to speak, with the, with the Chef Robles products, you'll be putting out some news. People will know when it's coming out, not just on the website, but through, through press releases as well, right? Oh, of course, of course. We will uh, we'll put out a press release and we'll make a big splash on social as well. Okay, awesome. so ask you guys one final question, if you don't mind. Uh, anything else you'd like to add to the conversation? Chef Roble, anything you want to add? Um, anything that we've yeah. talked about or anything you want to include that maybe I didn't ask you? Yeah, I mean, well, something just popped into my head when, when we we're talking about timeline just now. So uh, June, July. That is a very sweet spot uh, for 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 me and some other things that I have going on uh, because I have a TV show that's coming out uh, mid June. And it'll still be running in July, so at the same, there's gonna be so there's a whole lot of buzz going on. So I know that we we can make a huge splash. Zomi, so, I know it's hard for both of us to top Chef Roble, but is there anything that you'd like to add as well to the interview? Uh, I would say it's impossible to top Chef Robley. I think for <laughs> us, uh, we're we're really excited because, as you could tell, he he's not your typical celebrity chef, right? He he's got although he's got the TV show in the past and he's got a very very big following on Instagram, especially for a chef. Um, he's just different than than all the other chefs. You know, a lot of the chefs are are restaurant chefs. He's a caterer chef, and I think for me. Um, the catering aspect is, is, a, is, is was really interesting um, because it's it's different. You know, the catering type of chef is different. And I think it is much more in line of what we do at Home Bistro. Absolutely. It's, you know, yeah, right. We are we're like the world's biggest caterer. So we're just mm -hmm. um, just so excited to, to launch this. We, we, we know that that the Chef Robles name is going to help us bring other chefs in as well. He's uh, got a great personality. And uh, we're just uh, we're excited to see it all come to fruition. So thank you so much for the interview. And Chef, thanks for joining us. Again, my special thank you to Zomi Dukman, CEO of Home Bistro Inc., ticker symbol HBIS, and celebrity chef Roble Ali. Thanks so much for joining us. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, which is called Stock Investor Daily. I'm Dave Donlin for Stock Investor Daily.